What's up guys? This is the perfect way to end this ridiculous week. <laughs> Alright, the week hasn't been ridiculous. I just feel like it's been a long week, guys. A very, very, very long, short week. And I am super excited. I had told you guys uh, a couple of weeks ago that I was waiting on a couple of thread up packages to come. And you guys see over here all of my amazing packages. Um, this one actually I want to share with you guys because I'm super excited about these. This is not thread up. This is actually something that I ordered from Amazon. So I'm going to start here. And uh, yeah, this is, this is a pair of Adidas with this beautiful orange stripe up the back. These are like a, um, kind of like a, um, what are they called? They're just black with a, almost like a charcoal-y kind of gray. They fit so good, um, but they're kind of like a boxing shoe, but mostly like a workout shoe. Um, so I see myself, when I seen these, I was like, I really love these. And I, have, I have a pair of Adidas that I wear often, and they're kind of busted. Well, not really busted, but um, <laughs> when we were in, <laughs> We were in, uh, um, um, uh, goodness gracious, Florida a couple of years ago, or last year this time, actually last year this time, we were in Florida with my cousins. We did a cousin's weekend in Florida, and I had my black uh, Adidas that I always wear. And my cousin Tamara was looking for some, like she wanted some sneakers, she was going to go running. And I was like, oh, well, you can wear these. And she was like, what are those? <laughs> so, she was clowning my little Adidas guys. And they're really cute. They're like a black, they're just all black. And I don't know, they have like the red, black, and green. Um, yeah, red, black, and green little, uh, you know, tie at the end or whatever. And so in any case, I decided, um, because those were a little older, and I think I got them from a thrift store too. Um, so because they were a little older I, and I wanted some new, um, you know, some new Adidas, uh, I was looking for some new black Adidas and I came across these, fell in love with them. I um, was so happy to find my size and um, God, they came in yesterday, tried them on, did not want to take them off. And so I just love these. So these are just some Adidas workout shoes that I got from Amazon. Nothing special or spectacular there, but they are special and spectacular because I love them so much. So now we're going to just dive into the thread of boxes. I don't know what's what or what's where. So we're going to start with the boxes first. And I think um, you guys seen when I did the thread up the goodie box where they made uh, bought items or sent items to me. And I think I kept a couple of pieces out of the goodie box. So, um, you know, so from there, I was kind of like, I, I prefer to do my own shopping. And so I picked up a lot of really cool pieces that I'm hoping that I can fit. And I'm hoping that they look as amazing in real life as they looked online. So if you guys aren't familiar with thread up, it's like an online thrift store, which is perfect because I'm not like 100% just jump back into whole thrifting, um, jump back into thrifting rather. Um, and so this is a great substitute, I guess, for not actually going to thrift stores. And so I went on ThreadUp and uh, just kind of found a lot of really cool pieces that I just want to share with you guys. I may do a try on depending on how long this video is, um, or maybe I'll just poke some pictures of the stuff on at the end, or just, I don't know, I'll do something. Um, but first, let's just kind of get through and see what we have. I have like six, five packages to open. So the first package is, ew, this was, I was really excited about all of these pieces. And um, some of them are just kind of, you know, basic little pieces like this, which I absolutely love. You know, I love a nice long shirt. Oh, well, this isn't as long as I thought, but it's still really cute. Um, this little thing fell off of it. But I love a nice long shirt that has like this ombre at the bottom, which is really cool. Like I love this, um, you know, with some black leggings or some gray leggings and just some flats and slides, a nice little jacket or, or cardigan. Perfect little, um, you know, perfect little throw together outfit. And it buttons, yeah, buttons all the way up from, and there are hidden buttons too, which is pretty cool. So, you know, it's just a button up shirt, hidden buttons, just from the top to the bottom. Real simple, real cool. And uh, we'll just set that to the side. And this item, I actually was super excited about it and I'm hoping it looks as good as I thought it looked online. Um, and it is like this dress, like this hoodie dress. I love this, guys. I love that it's green. You guys know it's my favorite color. And then it's just like a dress. It's like a hoodie, but it's a dress. And I wanted to do some distressing on this, so I may do something, even like a tie-dye. I'm gonna do something else, some kind of DIY. DIY. DIY, 
I'm talking too fast. Some kind of DIY with this. You guys know green is my absolute favorite color. So one of the first things I do see is I'm gonna change this black tie out of here because I'm not a fan of that. I'll probably just do a white string to go in there. And that's just as simple as pulling this out and lacing something else up in your child. But these will be so cute talking about Adidas. These will be cute with my um, white and green Stan Smith Adidas. That would be a really cool Saturday run around, kind of going to Michael's or something kind of outfit. Even going to the library once the library opens back up. Really cool outfit. I'm going to try that on. Oh, I didn't realize that it, um, oh, I thought it had a zipper at the bottom. No, it just has like this little opening right here. So we'll see. We'll see if it's not too short. Um, but it's probably even cute just with like some lay in, um, with like biker shorts or leggings or something like that would be really cute too. So we'll see how we're going to style it. I think it's cute or whatever. And then last but not least, I, hmm, I don't even think I bought these up. Oh, I was going to say, what is this? I thought these were pants or shorts or something. I'm like, I did not order no jean shorts. But it's a skirt. It's a jean skirt, guys. I was so, I had a really, really cute jean skirt. After COVID, I could not, I mean, I can't fit that thing for nothing. So I had to give it to baby girl. Um, so I came, I was um, in the market for a new jean skirt. And this one is really cute. It has like a little simple thing right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I realized that even if this is like the split or whatever, once I try it on, if I feel like it's too much, I can always put something else in here, like another piece of material or something. And it doesn't even have to be jean. Again, just doing some, you know, some little clothing kind of, uh, kind of doing your own clothing uh, DIY. It's just something to make it a little more uh, your own statement piece. So I'll try that one on. You guys can see that. So that is box number one. So far, so good, guys. I'm excited. Box number two. Let's see what that is. And I haven't looked at any of the... I guess I'll have to look at my phone to see what the prices are because they sure don't have anything in here. So maybe I'll go back to my phone. Um, my phone is actually updating right now, so I can't use it. Um, but yeah maybe i'll go back to my phone and, and talk about the price or whatever or maybe even when i try it on i'll just say what the price is worth from there Ooh, so this is another um i was really excited about these what is that oh i was really excited about these and these are just some green oh these are cute hold up hold up hold up these are just some green what are they doing though I may have to get these altered, but these are like some green dress pants. And depending on how high they are, they have like this really odd cuff right here. I don't know what that is or what that's doing. It looks like somebody may have, I don't know. I have to figure out what that is. I think some, I don't know what that is, but it's like this odd cuff here, if you guys can see that. Um, I'll try them on and see what they're doing. If they're too crazy, I'm going to send them back. Because it almost looks like, I mean, we talking about doing DIY, it almost looks like somebody did this themselves. It's like a really cool stitch in here, though. I just don't know why it's why that cuff is there like that. So I'll try them on, see what they look like. And um, what is this? Los Angeles, Echelia. Oh, and other stories. So they're a pair of other story pants. Maybe I'll look at them and see if this is how they're made. But I really like these. Um, of course, the color uh, is, is always my favorite. But I love the um, crop wide leg crop pants like the ones I have on today. Um, but these are just dress pants doing the same thing. And I can wear these with like a pair of, um, you know, slick boots. So that all you see is like kind of the boot hanging out from the pant. I think that would be really cute. And then you'll get more of the boot because the pant is boot cut. So that wide leg so that's a cute find right there i have to try them on because i'm not sure what that bottom uh stitch is doing and then also got these little shoes guys i actually i don't have my shoes that i wore today but these are kind of cute right i don't know i always like a nice pair of just kind of um shoes that you can wear <laughs> shoes that you can wear of course you're gonna wear them because they're shoes but I just like a nice pair of shoes that you can just kind of slide on. They look a little small, so hopefully they are a size eight, but hopefully I can fit them. Yeah, they say size eight, so hopefully I can fit them. One of the things I sometimes find with these shoes is that they, this right here can be really hard against the back of my heel. Um, so you just have to avoid that. But otherwise, these are like really cute. Um, where did I I can't see this. Melrose and Market. 
is the name of the brand. So I, I'm not familiar with those, but you guys can see they, you know, have a little wear at the bottom of it, but not too much. So I will try these on, and they would look really cute with these little green pants, right? That'd be a cute little, um, cute little old fit. So I'll sit those there. And now we'll get into my bags. Bag number one. Let's see. So far, so good, right? Bag number one. Ooh, I've been waiting on this. Opening it out, tearing everything up. And this is just more of the, oh no, this is not what I expected, but this is just more of the same, um, like the other shirt that I showed you guys, but I really love this. I, lo I wanted something that was more, um, that had like more color in it. Um, so something like this, like this would have been awesome with what I'm wearing today. Um, but I just love, I love the material. I love the way that it, I love the length of it. Um, again, this was just some nice leggings um, or some like skinny, skinny jeans or just something really comfortable. But I really like this um, love culture. I've not heard of them, but just a cute little, just a cute little shirt or whatever. Let me see. I thought there was a tear or something in the back there, but it's really wrinkly and I like that too. Um, so you can wear it wrinkled or you can try and press it out. But this kind of shirt with all these lines, wrinkles are inevitable, but I love that. So that's like a. That's like a fave. And then I actually have, yeah, I have, I have um, this bodysuit in, I have it in cream, I have it in black, and then I have it in like a, an OD green, which is almost like an army green. And so when I seen this one here, I thought that was really cute. So I was like, eh, I guess I'll go ahead and, and go ahead and um, purchase that. So it's just a cute little mauve colored bodysuit. And then it's this skirt. Now this skirt looks so much cuter online. It probably looks cuter on the camera as well. But it is just a, a cotton skirt, which I didn't expect. And it's by Mac Studios. I don't know why I thought it was more, um, like more, uh, what's the word? What's the word? Sequency kind of, it just kind of gives me like a, a sequency look, right? from a distance, but up close, it is literally just a cotton skirt. So I may not keep this, but we'll see. We shall see. So that one was, um, that was just okay for me. All right, getting down to the wire here. I'm gonna do this pretty fast, huh? Much faster than I expected, which is cool. Ooh, now this was something I was excited about too. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. <sighs> I hope I can fit it. Um, so this, I always wanted like a really long, jean jacket kind of look and that's what this is i will wear this like open like you can wear it closed it has like the little button closures you can wear it closed or you can wear it open and this is from just fab i've never ordered anything from there but i love that it's long i would definitely wear it open it's a little lighter than i expected i thought it's gonna be um, a harder denim but it's a really light flowy denim which isn't bad but i will wear this certainly wear this open with maybe like um you know even like a i don't know put this shirt up under it you know with some with some regular jeans some regular jeans um i thought about putting like a um like patches on this as well that's what i had in mind when i bought it but i actually have another thing that's coming in that i think i'm going to do patches on that also it depends on what the material was like but looking at this i think patches on this would be cool um or i may here's another idea that i had i was going to use some um uh, uh what's the word uh fabric paint and do some uh, paint splotches or blotches on this and maybe do something really big on the back i don't know if i can uh draw something on there but i just want to do something really creative with it so um and then have this is just kind of like a throw uh, uh, a, a throw over jacket or shirt like i would always wear it open but just kind of do a lot of you know really uh, really funky cool artsy kind of something to it so this is really cute i love that and this right here, guys, I absolutely love this. Like, literally takes my breath away. It is, it's like a, um, kind of like a dress shirt, a shirt dress. <laughs> I always say that backwards. <clears throat> a shirt dress, um, but this beautiful green color. I am like so here for this color, guys. Can you imagine this? It's, and it's kind of like a shorter dress, which I, I'll try it on so you guys can see. But it's kind of like a shorter dress. But if you can imagine this, like with some really cute just pumps, like 
going out to like don't button it all the way up i have like some nice gold jewelry like really thin uh you know necklaces just hanging like stacked um the really cute dress nice gold hoop earrings um some really bad pumps and just like i don't know i see myself with a glass of wine in my hand wherever i am with wearing this dress i see myself wearing this dress with a glass of white wine in my hands and this is so freaking cute guys i can't wait to try that on um i may do a, like a styling something in another video because i want to i want to do some styling with some of these pieces too and then maybe come back and do that we'll see we'll see but anyway that's like at the top of my list so far this is like my number one yeah so far this is my number one favorite and then last but certainly not least i really went through this fast guys i thought i was gonna be here for a minute see if I can figure out how to open it. The last but certainly not least is this package here. Oh, and this is certainly last. <laughs> this is only one item in this bag. So that wasn't too bad. I feel like I waited forever just to do this little video and I thought it was going to be a lot longer down. These pants, oh, I don't know if I can fit these. Look how, do you see how little this is? Look at, oh, I don't know how I'm going to fit these guys. I'm gonna be so mad if I can't because these are so freaking cute. I, look at that waist. I'm scared to even do the. Oh no. You know how they say if you take it around your neck and you do the waist, there's no way I'm getting in these. Too tiny. I'm gonna have to send these baby girl because they are bad. You hear me? Wool pants, pockets, high waisted, wide leg with a pair of brown. Like I had, I had in mind wearing my um, brown ankle boots, uh, my Prada ankle boots with these with a nice chunky sweater. That would have been fire. But ain't no way in the world I'm getting in my waist in this little thing. Remember, like it won't even go halfway around my neck. So I don't even know if baby girl can get in this. this is, <laughs> these things are tiny. That is so ridiculous. And they knew with tags, but that, yeah. Chow. So that is it for now. I guess I'll probably try to do a quick try on. We'll see how that goes. If not, I'm just going to come back and close this video out. Um maybe i'll go through and look and see what the price tag is for these items but uh i'll do it i'll try a little quick try on and see if i don't uh sweat myself to death trying to do that so let's go with the try on okay so this is me with the little um sweatshirt jumper or sweatshirt dress on it uh, actually comes like just below my knee, which is pretty cool. And you can see the split is here, not too bad, not too revealing. Spoiler alert, I cannot fit none of the pants. Neither can I fit the skirt, guys. I am so irritated. Um, or at least the jean skirt. I'm going to try that other skirt, child, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, this is the jumper. I think it's really cute. I love how it fits. Uh, I'm definitely going to take this, um, this black stuff or black string out of there i'm not liking that at all probably put something a little more like a shoestring just something a little more delicate because this is like really chunky and funky kind of thing um and i think i may even distress this maybe like take out the elbows or something just to do something like really you know really cool and funky with it i want to make some more like more artsy type um um uh, uh, outfits you know um, so I don't know like I said I may tie dye I don't think I'm going to tie dye it I think I like it green but I definitely want to do something with it so we'll figure out what I don't think I'm going to draw on it or paint on it or anything but we'll figure out what this is pretty much this is pretty much it guys let's see what we got next okay so I tried to figure I put on a lot of things at once <laughs> just to just to get it over with guys but um this is the jacket shirt i absolutely love this jacket shirt it fits exactly how i hoped it would fit it's long it comes down um you know just i guess just to my knee which is perfect can you imagine this like with the white or any kind of um oh i have some other things on the show uh any kind of um what's the word um uh maybe like a t-shirt with a big, with a nice pair of uh, boyfriend jeans, and this is open, or even like with this color shirt with some boyfriend jeans that's probably cut up, with this open with some patches or some paint or something really cool in there. Really good look. Um, this is the shirt, <clears throat> or the bodysuit rather. Um, yeah, fits just like I expected it to fit. I love the color, great fit. Um, this is the skirt. It looks really good on camera, guys. I don't know. 
Like in real life, it's just okay. But on camera, like this skirt looks a lot better than I expected. And it fits perfectly. Like it fits great around the waist. It fits great around the hips and you know, everything. So it fits, yeah. It looks really, it looks way better on camera to me than it looks in real life. So I don't know, maybe I can get used to it or I don't know, maybe something I, I need to do to get used to it. But um, <clears throat> so far so good, yeah. But I love, love, love this. This is, this is absolutely a winner. I may even distress this a little bit, maybe the pockets or something, maybe do some, you know, some, uh, you know, just scruff it up a little bit. But I absolutely love the shirt, the bodysuit. I love the way the skirt looks on camera, but um, it's just okay for me in real life. <laughs> So we'll see, we'll see. Let's see what we have next. So real quick, this shirt is kind of giving me the same vibes as the other shirt where I'm trying to put them around these jeans. I mean, I thought I can button it. It just, it don't, I just don't like the way that it looks. But you can see that it would look great with just some pair of blue jeans. I'm gonna do a try on, because I really want you guys to see, or not a try on, uh, a styling, um, real quick styling, because I really want you guys to see how I would wear this stuff. Um, so I don't want this video to be super duper long, but I just definitely want you guys to see how I would wear some stuff. So I may even cut this part out and just put the styling in. We'll see. We'll figure it out. But anyways, I, anyway, I love this shirt. Again, it fits great. Um, love the style love it. Love the stretchy material. Just a really cool shirt. Like I can wear this with some jean shorts, like as we're coming down to the end of the, I guess the summer is over. It is September. Uh, but I can wear this with just light jeans. I can wear this with anything. So I'm going to switch over into a styling video maybe i'll do something really quick at the end of this video that way you can kind of see how i would style this stuff i think that's what i'm going to do so but this is the last item actually no one more thing i'm um, going to get the shoes and then that will be the last item we'll be right back so next is this shirt dress that i absolutely knew i would be completely in love with and when i tell you guys that it fits and feels so amazing look at that it's almost like a satiny color um I, I have to look at it and see what it's made of but it's pretty satiny um got the little tie so you can make it as tight as you want or as loose as you want um when it's not tight it's just like a shirt dress i don't know that i could do anything else with it because on the inside it has that material so i think it just goes this way which is fine that's what we're going to do with it that's fine um, but like I said, this dress goes well, and I kind of stand on my tiptoes just to get a sense of how short it is, and it's not too bad. Like, I can see myself, you know, going out to dinner with Babe, and I think this is, you know, it's short, but it's, it, 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 there's an occasion for it, right? Um, with some cute, really cute high heels, absolutely gorgeous, maybe even going out to dinner or something. But whatever I am doing in this beautiful dress, I would have to have a glass of white wine in my hand um, and, and, and have that wine doing it with me because this is a gorgeous dress. Like it makes me feel like I need to do some leg exercises to get my legs like real pedal, <laughs> pedal, whatever that is. Um, but this dress is like everything guys. It is, a, is a, as beautiful as I thought it would be. Um, and it's loose. It doesn't feel tight, which I love. Um, I wouldn't dare take another button down, even though I could if I was feeling, you know, if I was feeling like that. I guess I could. You can't really, it's not really doing much of anything, which is fine. Um, but the dress itself is just gorgeous. So I am for sure a fan. It looks good. I love the color. I love the way it looks on me. I love the way it feels on me. This is hands down my favorite piece out of this whole, you know, out of this whole thread up thing. So I got a couple more shirts to try on and then I'll come back and tell you guys about the prices and, you know, let you know what I can fit and what I can't fit. Although you will see what I can't fit because it's not a part of this try on. So let me try these last couple of outfits on and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so this is the ombre shirt. I really like it. It doesn't fit well with these pants. I just put on my, uh, the pants that I had on earlier, which are just these high-waisted pants. It doesn't really go around this well um, because they're so high-waisted, so you don't really get the sense of it or the feel of it. So I didn't button it all the way up because it'll start looking really tight trying to button it around these pants. Um, but they, the shirt fits amazing. It feels good. Um, I love the length of it. Of course, I'm always a fan of like the sleeves that you can, you know, pull up or pull down. But I think regardless, if the sleeves, if I don't have this up, the sleeves are still not 
like a full length sleeve, which I kind of am here for. Like how the sleeve is just like a three quarter inch sleeve, which I like. Um, but I just love the, I love the simplicity of it. Like I can totally see myself wearing this um, like on a weekend or, you know, just like I said, throw on some comfortable leggings, this shirt, maybe some black leather sandals. I might even wear this tomorrow once I wash it just so I can give you guys a sense. In fact, maybe I'll do a, I think I'm going to do a style video because I want you guys to see how I would wear uh, most of these items. So I think I'll do that. I'll do a really cool style video. Something real quick because I can literally only fit about four or five pieces. <laughs> so it's not going to be that serious. Uh, but yeah, that's this shirt. Let me try my last shirt, then the shoes, and then we'll get into the pricing. And yeah, we'll get into the pricing. So I don't know if you guys can see these shoes. They're really cute. They're exactly as I expected. Um, really cute. I love I love a good shoe like this. I don't know if you guys watch like Blackish, how Joan always has like on these, you know, just kind of flat shoes. And I think when you walk around a lot, like you just really just be, learn to appreciate a nice flat shoe. And so that's what this shoe is. It's just a nice little flat, um, kind of hard shoe. It feels fine. Um, when I first put it on, I can feel that little pinch right there at the, um, at the uh, back of my heel. But now that I have them on walking around them, they feel fine. Um, yeah, they feel fine. So no complaints here with these, but I'm gonna do a quick uh, style, everything else video. That way you can kind of see you know, how I would wear this stuff. So we'll do that and then we'll come back. All right, so here is the, um, what is it, the hoodie shirt or dress or, you know, the sweatshirt dress, the hoodie sweatshirt dress. I don't even know what to call it. And just wearing it with my um, Stan Smith Adidas. Real simple, real easy, nothing. Just real simple, like, this is totally, you know, just going out for some ice cream kind of look. Like, um, me and Babe decide on a Friday night that we want to go get some ice cream. And I'm like, let me throw something on real quick. <laughs> and this is just something you throw on real quick. Real simple, real easy. Very, very, very casual. I can even just wear this shirt, take the shoes off, wear this shirt just as a lounge shirt. Just like super comfortable, so soft. Um, I love that it has pockets. Just real simple. Not doing nothing too special, real simple. I wouldn't do too much more with this. Just like the white sneakers and keep it moving. Let's see what we got next. Okay, next I have this shirt. I don't know, it feels like somebody, I think, tried to take this in because it has like this really odd stitching here. And I just don't know what it's doing. But um, like this last button, I cannot button it, John, without it like puckering. And we don't want that. So, but this is kind of like, what I had in mind with this shirt, um, again, I think even like the other one, you can wear it very casual, where I don't have to have all the buttons buttoned. You can kind of, you know, wear it very loose. I think right now I have two buttons buttoned and that's fine. Um, having it with a pair of leggings, just a simple pair of leggings. And I don't know if you guys can see my shoes, but my little handy dandy, I can never get my shoes up on this thing. My little handy dandy slides. <laughs> I, can't. I can't get my shoe up, guys. Here we go. My little handy dandy slides, just something real simple and casual to wear with it. Um, and that's just a simple look, very, very casual, very simple, can wear this anywhere. Um, just a real simple look. So let's see what's next. I have to figure this shirt out though, because I do feel like somebody tried to try to do something, uh, try to do their own thing with this shirt and we'll figure it out and we'll fix it. <laughs> but I got a couple more things I want to try on really quick. So let's see the next outfit. So I had to tip the camera a little bit so you guys can see the dress. You remember the dress, the little shirt dress. But I wanted you guys to get a hold of these shoes. I cannot figure out <laughs> the best way to do this thing. I wish I could adjust my camera. I don't think that I can. But I was trying to see if I can address, adjust, adjust, adjust my camera. And I just, let me see if I get a wide shot maybe. No, it's not, they don't even go that wide. But I guess you can see it a little bit better. But these shoes with this dress is just everything cute. Like I said, it'll be, all I need is a glass of white wine. This is like the perfect little outfit. But I love these gold shoes because although there's not really, I guess this little white stripe, 
<clears throat> I'll come up a little bit. This little white stripe kind of gives me like a champagne feel. And so that with these champagne shoes with the little diamond studs in it, please forgive my hairy legs. I haven't shaved them and my, they're probably a little ashy because I haven't, because <clears throat> I wore jeans today and I haven't put much lotion all the way on my legs. <clears throat> but anywho, excuse all that. <laughs> just, just admire the dress with the heels. I love this look, guys. Like, I feel like I want to go somewhere right now and just wear this. Like, I absolutely, absolutely love it. And I'm always, sometimes I, I, I'm hesitant to wear shoes that have like the strap here, like that double strap around the ankle because it has a tendency to chop your ankles off or make your ankles look really short. But I think because this dress is so short and it gives you a little bit more look of your legs. So I think with a dress this length, a shoe like this would go perfectly. So. Yep, that's that look. I have one more look to show you guys and then we'll get to the next part of the video. So let's see the next look. Okay, so this is the last outfit. I really um, style this like I wanted to. The jeans I usually would have grabbed would have been um, like a lot looser, um, but I grabbed these jeans instead. I don't know why, but I would just wear this with like a simple t-shirt or something else and maybe just wear this, like I said, open as a jacket. Um, I actually have on if you guys can see what I have on the shoes that I bought with this as well but ideally the under pieces would be a lot baggier especially the pants but right now I just have on a pair of distress uh, boyfriend jeans I have truly underestimated how much weight I gain guys this is insane uh, but I love this jacket this this jacket and that dress are hands down my two favorite pieces um, but this is simply, you know, a real simple, this is how I would style it, this is how I would wear it. Just something really casual, really comfortable. I can't wait till I DIY this jacket. You guys are gonna be like, that's amazing. I'm sure you will. Can't wait to show you. Um, but now let's get into see the prices. I'll share with you guys what I'm not gonna keep because I can't fit. Uh, but then, you know, there's one other item that I'm not really a fan of. So I'll share with you the items. We'll go over the pricing and um, yeah. So let's see the items. All right, guys, so I um, did the try on and all that stuff. Did a quick little styling of how I would style most of the pieces. Now I wanted to look at the email. Well, first I'll show you guys what's, what was a fail and what I'm sending back. And then I'll show you guys the things that I'm gonna keep and we'll talk about the pricing if that's fine. So the first thing that is a fail, it's not a, it, it really isn't a fail. I think it's cuter on camera than it is in real life. And so I'm just not a fan of it. So this is going to go back. This is just a little cute little skirt. I mean, it's just okay. So I'm definitely going to send that back. Um, the next item that I'm going to send back are these beautiful green pants. Not because I don't love them, but because I can't fit them. I really, I'm telling you guys, I really underestimated how much weight I gained over this pandemic. It is it's like unfreaking believable for real. Um, so I can't fit those, although they are absolutely gorgeous. So I think I'm gonna have, because I think these are a size four, so I think I'm gonna have to go up to a size six, guys. <sighs> so yeah, but the crazy thing is, is certain styles, I can't fit a size um, six, a size six is too big, and then some of them are size four is too big, so it's really hard um, shopping, I think, for pants, um, especially if they're brands that you're not familiar with. Like if there's a brand I'm familiar with, I can go up to my closet and see what size I got in that brand and kind of still work it out. But if it's something I'm not familiar with, I just I guess I can't really shop online for it so those pants are going back and then these which I absolutely love I don't know if baby girl will like these because um, they're kind of wool so they might be itchy too so I'm going to send these back as well um, and these are just a small so I guess I need to note to self go up to a size six and a size medium because I couldn't even get my thigh in this book in this book in these pants so there's that. And then probably the most depressing of them all is the skirt, guys. This is free, people. No, what is this? Yeah. This is free, people? We the... Yeah, free people. Um, a size four. And I can't fit this. I was so surprised. But I can't get this. I can't even get the button button. Let alone the zipper zipped. <laughs> So I am super disappointed because this was, this was, um, I was very hopeful for this. So that is very, very, very disappointing there. So that's going back. So those four pieces, unfortunately, 
will be going back. And with Thread Up, they don't really do like returns per se, but you can, they'll do like a store credit. So I'll be sending those back for store credit. So um, maybe I'll be doing another, uh, another haul. And so from there, let me go into the actual emails where the items come in at. So I'll start with this, ooh, this first email is the jean jacket, which was $15.99, guys. This gorgeous, I call it a jean jacket. It's like a jean shirt dress, but I'm going to wear it as a jacket. $14.99, that is like, or $15.99. Perfect price. Um, so that's not bad at all. On that same ticket, I have this beautiful green silk dress. I love this dress so much. It's called um, JOA Los Angeles. It's a size small. Um, I was trying to see what it's made of. It's probably like a, I don't know what it's made of. 100% um, polyester. So I don't know if polyester is a good uh, hand wash, cold, do not bleach, lay flat. So it's probably a really poorly, not poorly made, but a cheap dress. So polyester, of course, is not really expensive, but it's really cute because it has like that silk looking component. So really cute dress that looks more expensive probably than it is. And it was actually $17.99, guys. They say the original price was $71, but the um, thread up price was $17.99. Um, and then with the, just the jean jacket, casual dress, whatever they're calling it, the original price was $36. The thread up price was $15.99. So let's see what's on my next. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, let's see what's on my next thing. So on my next ticket, of course is the bodysuit which i love i knew this was going to be just a good hit a good uh ooh, gotta sneeze <coughs> oh, sorry i knew this was going to be a hit because i already have you know something similar to this and this was 15.99 i wouldn't have gotten it if i knew it was 15.99 i didn't even think that's how much i paid for the other one they said it was 30 dollars originally but that's not true because i think i probably paid 9.99 for the other ones that i have so i don't know let's see and that's another thing i hate when they just try to over like up sale or up price things it's like just to say the price what it is and stop playing with people not playing with people's emotions just tell me what the price is um and then next on the same ticket is the um i love this just love culture just this button up um and this was 14.99 the uh original price is 27 dollars the thread up price is 14.99 so that wasn't bad at all and then that skirt was on this ticket as well Ooh, no, I definitely said an escort. That skirt was $47.99. As ugly as that skirt is, that's probably why I thought it was a little more bedazzled than it is. They bugged out. I bugged out for buying it. Yeah, that thing is definitely going back. Um, so let's see what's on the next ticket. Oops. Let's see what else is on these tickets here. Um, then those wool pants were $20.99. Of course, those are going back. Um, the green pants were $29.99. Of course, those are going back. The shoes were $21.99. I'm keeping these because I really like them. And what else? What else? What else? Yeah, man, that sucks that that other... So these must be on the other ticket. Which is... I should have... I thought to pull these things up. But I didn't. No, here it is. Yeah, and so then the last ticket is the jean skirt, which was $31.99. That was free people. Um, then this shirt here, which is what I absolutely love, was only $12.99. That's a great shirt. With the little at the bottom, I love that. And then my um, sweatshirt dress. <laughs> sweatshirt dress was $20.99. So not too bad. I'm actually going to, um, I guess, get a pretty good credit. I got the $31.99 for the skirt. I'll probably try to find another skirt. And then um, the two pair of pants and what else? Oh, and then the um, the other skirt. Yeah, so the, the skirt, the jean skirt, the two pair of pants, all of that's going back. So yeah, that's gonna be a pretty good credit, but I, I wish that I would have not got, I wish that skirt was as cute in real life as it is on camera. But, um, so that's pretty much it. Yeah, that, that was, um, I think I, for the most part, love all my pieces. Um, I think ThreadUp is really cool. It's, not only is it fun to just, excuse me, go on their site and just kind of shop and, you know, find different items on their, shop, on their site, 
um, but their prices are really cool for the most part and you can get stuff at a really nice price and not like you know break the bank or anything and then it's the only I think my least favorite part is waiting for the items to come in because they typically take about two to three weeks to come in um, for some reason they can't seem to get the shipping date right so it will say oh we'll be here on Saturday but you won't see it until the following Wednesday or something I don't know why that is like it will literally be tracking your package up until it just disappears and then it'll it'll have some kind of note on there like um delivery pending or something like that but it doesn't tell you anything else so then three days later your package arrives <clears throat> so that's my least favorite part about it um what else other than that i mean it's a, for me it kind of soothes my thrifting um my thrifting craving or whatever <laughs> Uh, it really soothes that so that's a good thing um what else what else well, i'm trying to anticipate what you guys might be wanting to know i think i mentioned before um with thread up like i said when you get your items if you return them um you don't get a refund you just get a store credit which is fine because i'm sure i'll be back on there buying stuff again i'm definitely going to try to look for that jean skirt again i don't know that i'm going to try pants anymore because i just had a hard time with pants unless it's a pair of pants from a brand that i already have then i'll kind of work it out that way um the shoes aren't bad i love that you know these shoes were exactly as i imagined them to be they were exactly what they looked like <clears throat> um in the uh in the try on so I'm, I'm happy with those my favorite item i think i mentioned to you guys hands down is the dress <clears throat> this green dress and this jean jacket shirt whatever you call it those are hands down hands down my favorite pieces um my least favorite was obviously the skirt this is why that's why i'm sending it back um and then I'm, my most biggest disappointment i think are those green pants oh, actually the green pants and the brown pants and the jean skirt like everything that i have to send back because i can't fit it all of those are like the biggest disappointments ever so I think that's it. I think that's it. I have another thread of pack, actually two more thread of packages coming in. I don't know when. <clears throat> I was gonna try to hold off and do those, um, you know, do those, um, actually one I think is supposed to come tomorrow, which probably means I won't see it till next Wednesday. And then I think one is supposed to come next Wednesday, which I probably won't see until next Saturday. And so I may do another thread up haul between probably may do another thread up haul next saturday if those packages come in although it's only really three pieces so i may not i may just kind of share them with you guys so i don't know we'll see or maybe i'll hold them until i do like my once well i don't know because once i return those and it's going to take some time for it yeah we'll figure it out but i have another two shipment or two um uh, uh um packages coming in so I'll um, look forward to those. But in the meantime, I'm going to pack up the other ones. I'm going to wash everything else. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Hope if you guys have any questions, like thread up is, is, is a really fun way, like I said, to uh, ease my thrifting cravings. Um, so I enjoy it. It's like a really huge database. You can search things by, you know, your size, you can search by brand. You can obviously search by, you know, um, item, whether you want a dress or shirts or pants. If you go with pants, you can say, you know, uh, jeans or dress pants or, you know, just kind of different variations. If you go with jeans, you can say high waisted, low rise, ankle cup, crop, whatever. Um, so there are various ways that you can narrow down your searches and find exactly what you're looking for. Um, so I think that's it. But my absolute favorite item that had nothing to do with the red up of them, of course, guys, are my black Adidas. I'm gonna change the shoestrings out in these because I don't really like that shoestring. It's a little loud for me. Um, just put a black shoestring in there. And you will probably see me wearing those all the time. So I think that's it, guys. I think that is, uh, yeah, I think that's it. So until next time, blessings. And I'm holding my phone as if it's the recording for the thing, but it's the phone. So let's try this again a little more. Uh, so thanks again for watching, guys. Until next time, blessings.